Alright, a time for a Talon game. It's gonna be a beginner's guide to Talon. I'll explain to you everything in as much detail as I can, from pathing to how to use your skills, etc. So yeah, I'll be facing an Amumu here, which should be pretty free for me, honestly, because that champ doesn't invade. Don't have to interact with him too much in the early game. Could potentially invade him, because obviously, like, I have Ignite and stuff, which makes me relatively strong. But, you know, good ward. I'll place the ward here like I would usually do anyway and see if they leave. Is the ward placed anyway? It should be fine, I think. I think it's going to pose much of a problem. Good, we're just going to place the ward 50 second recall over there. Don't need the potion to clear either, and I highly doubt the enemy team is going to stick around here. Not gonna happen. There is sh that surely just not gonna happen. Okay, not gonna get a leash. That's a tad bit unfortunate, I suppose, but it is what it is. That does make my clear a bit uh, more sad because uh, you're gonna take a bit of damage here. If you're not gonna get the leash at all, it's technically better to just start on Raptors, because at that point, uh, the Raptors are much easier to kill for a quicker level two, which makes the rest, of your, the rest of your camps faster. So it's a bit sad that I don't get a leash here and he gets to have the leash on red buff here, but you know, have to deal with it is what it is. Smite is something as fast as possible then, and now all we really do is like cut the camps a little bit to save a bit of HP. Just a little bit. Make sure to like not forget the auto attack though. And it we're good. We'll get our HP back up by the way. Like you might look a little low now and you might think, oh I need the potion and all that, but you really don't, because as soon as you like finish this hit level three, your camps are pretty much gonna get one shot, and at that point you should be fine. Does seem like they used their non-leash advantage to their advantage because they got a kill and they hit the level two spike first because they didn't have the leash. Or didn't want the leash, I suppose. Um, so they do get first blood out of that deal, I suppose. Not too bad. Get this down. Here we're just gonna kite and walk it a bit. Wait for the W cooldown a bit. We'll get it down. Alright, so your skills, uh, something to note with your Q. Uh, if you are hitting it from a big distance, like it has two circles here, right? If you hit it in a small circle, it's going to be a critical hit. Uh, if you hit it in the big circle, it's going to be a dash towards the target. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's an auto attack reset still, so you can use it as one. So always try to auto attack, then instantly Q right afterwards, and that way you can get that done. And we're just gonna finish our full clear here. This is just nice and consistent. You can potentially look to like level three gank with Talon if you want to, uh, but just generally full clearing, especially in lower ratings, is gonna be better because. Let's say I give my bot lane like an extra kill and it costs me a bunch of jungle tempo and potentially even some of my camps, right? It'd not be a great outcome because that means that I would have used that. Okay. I'm probably going to be able to do this. It's fine. Just shove that out. Finish that real quick. It's all good. Low HP target. We just go for it. Pretty free. And now here, instead of going for this scuttle crap, which is it. <laughs> One, very, very risky because Amumu also most likely clear towards top side. Uh, two, it's also going to delay me a lot going for this skull now because I have to walk all the way there. Uh, I mean, teleport's going to come in. Volley is very low. I'm just going to want to reset as fast as possible here and catch the respawn of this uh, at 420-ish so I can just have another good pace th through my jungle camps. Got a Dirk on the first back, which is beautiful. Uh, my intention here is going Hubris, by the way. I really, really like Hubris on um, on AD, cha AD Assassin junglers a lot. Uh, if you are not going to go Hubris, I'd recommend going Ghostblade instead of it, and then switch the Relentless Hunter for the Ultimate Hunter, um, because then Ghostblade pretty much gives you the Relentless Hunter, but because I'm going Hubris, I like running uh, Relentless with that for the additional movement speed that you would gain going Ghostblade, if that makes sense. Gonna clean this up and then I can look for that. This hits me level 5, I believe. Get that clean up. Come on, Pat. Don't troll me. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a good dash. That's me. That's my bad. That's okay, though. Could have wall hopped that better. Um, yeah. 
I don't know if I explained the skills actually, but your W is just a skill shot as you can see, throws it out, comes back to you, uh, applies a passive stack on each way it goes. Uh, then your Q is just the, the hit right, the auto attack reset, the crit within melee range and the dash towards when it's not melee range. And your ult is gonna be... This is warded, I figured. She moved like it was gonna be warded. Your ult's gonna be uh, throws blade around you, makes you invisible, gives you a movement speed boost. And uh, yeah. When you then hit the target, the blades will fly towards that target. The Mumu's gonna come this way, right? Is he like... Oh, there he is. It's relatively risky, actually, to go for the invade because of the top laner. Just hope my Kali doesn't do nothing. There is no way. Unlucky. Did end up doing nothing. Holy moly. That's a tough one. She ended up doing nothing and Karma got away with it, sadly. There's one hit required from the Akali, but she didn't really have much to do anything for it, I suppose. Didn't, like, get the close to distance or whatever. Anything more than that will just be a bit greedy, I think. Relatively low HP right now, so I have to be a bit careful. Clean this up. I guess I might as well do the blue hit six. At this point, I feel like those Void Grubs are kind of gone anyway. My camps are respawning it, that is. That's what I figured. Um, yeah. Didn't get the kill on Karma either, which just sucks, and now I just lose the Void Grubs. Just kind of have to recover, and by recover I mean I just simply make sure I keep my jungle pacing as efficiently as I can, at least. Toplane's gonna die to that one. He did not walk back respectfully whatsoever after uh, Amumu killed the Void Grub, so it's just gonna be a gank into his death, unfortunately. Uh, it's not the most ideal early game, but on the other hand as well, it doesn't matter too much. Talon will skill pretty well. Uh, early game is not that strong, so I'm not too worried about things. We just keep our consistent nice jungle pacing and you should be fine. Because now we can just clean the rest of these camps up here. And obviously this guy on top lane is most likely going to reset. Well, if he starts hitting third, I'm going to sprint up there as fast as I can. Okay, he's, he's starting hitting third. Okay, we're going. All we have to do here is just move with E over a bunch of walls. Can I make that still? I think I might be able to make that still. He's backing in that bush. I don't know if I can make that. We'll see. Worth talent though, so... There might be a small chance. Did I hit him? Nope. He got the recall off them. I was just too late. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit too slow there, sadly. Fair enough. Clear the top side. Just try to finish off the hubris, really. We'll get going from that point. Not the best early game, but that's fine. I think it's good that I just don't get a bunch of kills initially. Lose some stuff, lose a bit of, with my laners and stuff like that. It's all good. Amumu is getting quite a good advantage here. His laners are... Uh, or his mid laner is doing a decent amount of work, I will say. It's all good. In these situations, all you have to really make sure you do is just be consistent. Like, get your CS, get your experience, be consistent. You can always make up for it later. Or pretty much always. At least. Not always, always, because there are certain games that are completely doomed, but in most cases, you'll be okay. She is literally full HP. Mm, is she gonna hit turret? I think she will, right? I'm gonna wait for my Akali to get here. Please just don't do nothing. That's all I require you to do here. Thank you. Good. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if Bot Scuttle is still here. I doubt it, but it could be. Oh, it is. Nice. Not bad. Now, the next back here is going to be insane. We want to back for this as quickly as possible. We do see a fight on Bot side we're going to have to participate in right now, though. Ignite him instantly. With the bleed proc, it should be enough damage for him to just die. Just auto-attack him down. Finish him off there. Beautiful. There's a fight there, obviously, just drop what you're doing. I'm not going to try to finish the scuttle when my team needs me in that fight, so this is good. I do need to back soon. Can you just hit the ward? Thank you. Just finish it. It's fine. I'm going to take the scuttle before I back. Uh, so this is off the map. The scuttle is quite valuable here, so I'll quickly get it. And then we have a 48 second respawn on the void grubs. Can I clean the rest of my bot side camps before that happens? I think with Talon's mobility, I probably can, so I will try to do that. But my recall is definitely going to have to come before those void grubs spawn. So I can fight the Amumu on it. 
My ult will be up for those as well, so it should be no problem. Yep. 24 seconds. I should be fine. Talon has wall hopes, right? So we can use that. We finish this and we'll have a beautiful recall after that. But yeah, that one fight right there instantly put us back in a very favorable position in this game. Our farm is looking very good here as well, so it's not a problem. You know, something you don't... Uh, sometimes uh, don't uh, things don't work out for you too well in the start of the game, which is okay. Gonna go Hubris here. Hubris into another Dirk. Beautiful. Wait. Oh, that doesn't... It builds out a Brutalizer these days. God, I... Okay, fair enough. I'll just hold on to the Dirk. It's not a necessarily bad purchase, don't get me wrong. It still gains me lethality, which is fine. Uh, but it, I thought it built into the uh, Axiom Arc still, but it now builds out a Brutalizer. That is a bit my bad. Let's just get this one down. At least one of them. Karma rotated for this, so we're going to need the Akali to rotate for this as well. Hop over this way. Akali is not showing for this. Can I get a mid laner, please? That is not AFK. That would be greatly appreciated. I need my mid laner to just show up and it's free. It's a bit late, though. I'm a bit scared now. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Smite that one then. Just, yeah, okay, I don't know, man. I don't know what that Akali just did. Fair enough, we'll just be leaving. That's fine. That's one kill. Just gonna try to get out. Yo, let me wall hop. Oh my god. That scared me. I didn't actually register as a hop instantly. Uh, that's a bit like just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my Akali just did to that guy mechanically. Like, I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> It just happens. Don't try to over-aggress when you're playing an assassin, though, is what I have to say for those situations. Because obviously I just get blown up. I need to be very, very careful. Let's check if his raptors are here. They are. You can have an opportunity to take some of the enemy's camps. Always try to do this, because this will give you a benefit, like in the long run, obviously, taking their camps, you getting them. It's all very good. But just being nice and consistent with it. Don't stress things too much. Keeping your farm and CS going is going to make you very, very strong. The Dirk will eventually build into something, but I did slow my Axiom Arc purchase down by the thousand gold that I spent on it. It's gonna give me level 10, which is a level up for the bot play. I'm gonna smite this as fast as I can here and get it. Because the level up is actually quite good now. Level up into the play. We move. Let's see if we can get here. That hit me? God, that sucks. Yeah, that Lux Q sucks there, and like, no, fair enough. Thought I could avoid it, but I couldn't. Fair enough, I'll just take my reset. We're gonna buy the CDR boots here, and then, yeah, we'll build towards the Axiom Arc. Still. Uh, this item will be useful later in the build, but now, for now, we're just gonna go double longsword here. I got technically... I mean, I'm gonna lose Dragon. That's a guarantee. Uh, but, I mean, I technically could maybe go for, like, Ghost Blade still. Don't really want to, though. Yeah. Nah, we're good. It's fine. I messed up with the, with this buy. It should have been a Brutalizer buy. It should have been towards the Axiom Arc, but I didn't do that, so... Mistake. It's my habit of building it uh, previously, when it's still built out of a Dirk. Alright. Focusing on trying to hit, uh, finish my jungle item here. Hit level 11. Those are big things for me. That's the jungle item finish. His topside camps are up. I'd hope to be taking those. We can do this if he wants to. Just stun him! Why are you running? I'm gonna burst him out as hard as I can with my ult because the guy kind of took free damage for no reason. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to make sure he doesn't die. I initially didn't want to ult for that play because, I mean, I could just hold it. But in that scenario specifically, I need to be careful that he doesn't die because he tried to run from him instead of instantly stunning him with AE. 
Because if you like um, QEs that, then he would stun him and then out of the stun duration, he'd get an additional shield, which is what I was expecting him to do, but did that didn't specifically happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. I feel like I should go for the karma here as well. Why can I not vote no? Okay, I'm dead. That was a beautiful Q. Stupid surrender vote. Get out of my screen, man. That's my bad. I got distracted by the surrender vote. Played the play terribly. Not good. Bad gameplay. Fair enough. I'll buy this because more AD out of this than that. A very good Amumu Q there to finish me off. I got too distracted. Didn't think about it and died. So, yeah, that's all me. Team does clean it up. Very good, though. We're still looking at 127 CS level 11 with 5 kills. So, overall, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Uh, did I die? Did a troll die there? Yes, I did. Did I give 1,000 gold to Karma because of that? Yes, I did. But, you know, it happens. I messed up. Don't goofed it. Not a worry. Just keep consistently clearing your camps. And, yeah. Need to get my hubris back as well. I mean, I'm, I'm going to start deleting their team very, very soon here. We're getting to that stage, you know. Let's walk in with a sweeping trinket and see if we can get a good position here. Okay, I feel like I can just walk in here and be fine. I'm gonna have to finish the turret here. A tad bit aggressive from Kaisa there, but sure. And this isn't warded, so I can probably loop around this way and get the smolder in this angle. Okay, maybe not. Just move. We're just going to play very safe with Talon's wall hops. Very good read from the Amumumi trying to do that. Fair play. It's the beauty about Talon, though. Getting out of those situations is very nice and very easy. Yo. Don't. Nice and clean up. Easy, go easy game. Okay. Uh, Tolplane is looking very juicy right now. There's no turrets behind him, so he's already dead. No worries. Amumu is pretty hard for me to kill at the moment. My grudge is the only thing that's really going to kill him soon. Uh, he's going to be mid, so I'm going to see if his Tolplane camps are here, which I think they will be. So I just can deny him in the meantime, really. I need to make sure I don't lose a third dragon if that's possible. So I'm going to try to look for that. Yeah, the, the good thing here is, right, like, the consistency of my CSing, the consistency of, like, decent pathing is allowing me to just be fine. Let's sweep so we can potentially see someone walk past here in the vision. Just a quick bleed proc on him. Don't try to over-aggress too much. Gonna hop over the wall here. Go for the Karma. Finish off the easy kill first, and then we go for a Mumu after that. Beautiful. Not bad whatsoever. Wait for him to dash, then we jump the wall, not any sooner. And we just leave. Volley clearly doesn't want to fight that. Dragon's gonna spawn in 22 seconds, so we back as fast as possible. We'll get the Axia mark here. Like I intended to initially. And, uh, yeah. At this point, I want to go Profane Hydra, so I'll buy this. I will finish this item, I'll finish the Dirk, but it's gonna be finished into an Edge of Night, and that's like my last item in the build. So, you know, it, it's just gonna have to wait, I messed up. Let's clean my bot side out here. I'm looking pretty damn strong at the moment. See if I can maybe, like, get a play on this side. I'm almost walking away from it, which is good. Is this warded? This is warded. Okay. I might be able to sneak in from this side and get the smolder, though. Which is what I'm going to try for. Okay, Kaisa does it herself. That's fine. I need my... Recon to go first. I need vision. Give me wards right, right now, please. You have zero wards. That sucks. Go for the Karma and kill her quickly. 
Can I dash towards this guy, please? Good. Ignore the Amumu completely here, by the way. Smite it and leave. Extend this. Critical hit him with that. Is this gonna be enough? Should be good here, right? Yeah, okay, he's dead. I ignore the Amumu because this guy builds full tank Amumu. Like, I'm not worried about dying to his damage. I want to focus on getting the Karma and the Lux out of there. There's, those are much easier for me to kill. They are much squishier. So me, like, not focusing their tank is quite big. If I had Grudge, I could maybe one-shot the Amumu. But without Grudge, it's just simply not going to happen. So I don't want to go for it, you know? See if I can loop in from behind the Karma here. There we go. And she's dead. Just a quick E over the wall, ult, and then try to, like, get in range with the Q. Get the crit on it. And you're good. Finish this one and take a reset. I mean, I have enough money for it. I could buy it now and finish my build with Profane Hydra. I guess that's fine. The spell shield is definitely not bad against their team. Since I've already built it, I'll just do it this way, since I have the money for the item. I'll build, like, Profane Hydra after this, and then Grudge to finish the build, probably something like that. To just adjust to what I did with the Dirk buy. Because otherwise, I would just go, like, Profane Hydra and the Grudge into the, uh, this item now. But I have the money for it, so I think I might as well. With the way I've built so far, it makes sense right now. See if we can rotate over. Finish him off. Good. That's gonna be a Mumu focus for me. Not gonna matter if he plants or not, because there's nothing he can do against me. I, I will have the mobility of the golds anyway, so. Yo, can I? Oh god. Let me hop this real quick. Thank you very much. I did hit him, so I'm gonna get the assist at the very least, which is not bad. It looks like Kaisa is just straight up split pushing. <laughs> okay. Let's just check some of these camps here. Maybe this is up. It is not. Can potentially push mid turret here. So we're just going to hop over real quick. Just hit the turret down. And after this turret, I'm probably going to leave because their death timers are getting pretty low here. So the rest will be too greedy. I'll be out. Uh, currently not really anything else to take. Akali is going for it. My Profane Hydra is going to run me 2100 gold. There's nothing in his jungle up that I can take right now either. So I'm going to have to like, I guess, call Baron. But that would require Kai'Sa not to be bot lane, I suppose. So I don't know if that's going to happen, actually. Because without Kai'Sa, we're not really going to have any serious Baron damage. I can do this, maybe get the mid wave here as well. Mm, that is a fight with Volley. I probably should show for this. This should be okay. Just gonna walk up to it. Let's just ult for some bit of movement speed. She's gonna die to ignite. Okay, that was already a finished play, not a problem. He ghosted. Okay, we're gonna go for the Zin Zhao here then. Cut him off so he doesn't get to walk into his base. Make sure not to get hit by that, and they FF'd it. Alright, so I would have gone Profane Hydra here into um, a Grudge in this instance. Otherwise, I would buy Edge of Night last most likely and go Profane Hydra, Grudge, Edge of Night. But yeah, that's it for Talon though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. I also it quite a bit. And I will see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 21.7k damage, which is the second highest. I'm not very surprised by this because Volley was in a bunch of fights. Plus, um, I'm a burst assassin who generally do not get very good teamfight damage, generally speaking. Because you just get like burst one shot damage or like finish targets off here and there, but not consistent like DPS, like the Volley would, for example. Uh, he was also in like more sustainable top lane fights, etc. So, I mean, it's expected. As a burst assassin, you shouldn't be expecting too much damage there. True damage at 1400, uh, objective damage at 19.3k, which is actually pretty low. Amumu had like the better overall objective control, I suppose, in this game specifically. Um, so, you know, worked out for him pretty well. But my consistent farming helped me in it pretty easily. 
Uh, healing done at 14.7k. Uh, damage taken at 26k, which is the most. Self-mitigated at another 15. Gold earned at 13k, which is the most gold here as well. Again, a lot of this is just like the consistency of it, right? Like I have 214 CS at 24 minutes uh, compared to 123. So even though he, yes, he did get like more objectives, etc. As long as I just kept up good pacing uh, and like got some kills here and there, it was all fine. Like I was not really looking to be in any trouble or anything like that. Electrocute for 1300 extra damage. And you can also go first strike here instead of electrocute, which, you know, uh, is a bit more skill based because you're going to have to get the first hit and electrocute is just kind of free. You don't have to think about it. A sudden impact for 1200 damage, eyeball collection for the extra stats, relentless hunter for the movement speed. If you are not going to go hubris and you go ghost blade instead of hubris, uh, then you just go ultimate hunter here instead, because uh, then the ghost blade will have the movement speed that the relentless hunter will provide you otherwise, if that makes sense. So you can kind of switch those out. Uh, then we have the Cosmic Insight for the cooldown on the Ignite and the Smite and the Magical Footwear not to have to buy boots so you can rush into your Hubris or uh, potentially your Ghost Blade if you want to go down that route. That's completely fine, but one of those two at least. And yeah, uh, the build would be Hubris into Axiomark, into Profane Hydra, into Grudge, into Edge of Night in pretty much all games, honestly, is the way I would go. Uh, obviously, because I'm bought the dirk and messed up slightly it is turn order went or the, the item order went a little bit different because of it but you know it's all good uh but with that being said though that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like button below and i will see you guys tomorrow with another one bye